Let's grade this Cowboys-Chiefs game. A lot of people think Chiefs best team in the AFC. A lot of these so-called football gurus. I'm going to start on the defensive side of the ball. The best game they've played in three years. Linebackers, Sean Lee, Jalen Smith, Hitchens, flying around to the football. Excellent run fits. I love the way Jalen Smith steps up in the blitz. Doesn't allow Alex Smith to step up in the pocket. This group gets an A. Defensive line, excellent with your run fits. Lane integrity. Andy Reid likes to run a lot of misdirection, but the defensive line was where they're supposed to be and in their gaps. Got some production late, and even Taco got a sack. This group getting an A. Let's take a look at the defensive backs. Very painful to watch that play at the end of the first half. You watch it, I'm sure a lot of Cowboys fans said a few words and make proverbial sailor blush. An unbelievable play. Not sure what they were thinking there. Orlando Skandrick not throwing at him, but in the coverage scheme and what they did, Jeff Heath making a big critical play. They made some critical stops. That's going to give them a B. The offense versus the Chiefs. This is a group that continues to get better every week. Dak Prescott, excellent job. I love how you keep plays alive with your feet, able to move around in the pocket, and then when they give it to you, you go ahead and make the runs. Best throw of the day when you run the boot and you hit Beasley for the touchdown. Took some deep shots. I, they didn't hit them, but taking deep shots is what's going to get you over the top. I got to give them an A. Another hard hat day for Ezekiel Elliott. Way to go, Zeke. Coming back from what would have been a six-game suspension. You stayed it off a week and came out there and played your butt off. You didn't get the numbers, but still running the football with the same passion, same violence that you have in the last few weeks. That gives you a B. Excellent game from the receiving core. Cole Beasley making clutch catches. Des Bryant on the end cuts. And Terrence Williams, great job of blocking getting up in there and getting on the safety. But what I like is when you're catching the football, you're hitting it north and south. You're taking what the defense gives you and hitting it up in there. Got to give this group an A. And an A because of production. Tight ends and not a lot of production from a pass game standpoint, but from a run game standpoint, Jason Witten still does an excellent job of knowing how to body position blocks. And he's a move guy. When you move him from one side to the other, they're able to run that zone read. He can release and get up on the corner. It really is refreshing to see this group continue to grow. Got to give them a B. The offensive line and a group that we all know has good football players. Cooper is getting more comfortable with playing between two pro bowlers, but he's showing some nastiness. Chaz Green had to come in the game late because of Tyron's injury. Tyron has not been practicing, and you can tell he's getting that, that bull rush is taking him back into the pocket. That's hurting him just a little bit, and that's causing this group to get a B. Five and three at the midway point, headed to play in Atlanta, followed by Philadelphia here. They're playing the two birds of prey. We'll say the Cowboys are going to come out and get both of these wins. I like where the Cowboys are out right now. We'll talk to you next week.